Hello everybody, it is way off eve. We are getting real close to picking these guys up and finally see what the bottoms look like. We've got the shake cloth on the other side and cleared off, cleared out any of the stuff that was in the way for the backhoe which is over there. And I did take the final measurement this afternoon which happily they both did gain and they did what I expected so we're gonna next get everything set up um, meaning get the pallets ready and then get the lift get the lift ring and all that stuff and then so I'll bring you back when we start doing all that all right, we are now getting the lift ring ready, which is just about ready. And then, you guys can hear by the chain. I'm loud. Yes. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna do this one first because this is the one that worries me the most, mainly because of all the wonderful cantaloping it does. So I don't know what, exactly what it was doing on the bottom. So we'll get all set up. Oh, first I gotta cut that. Let me go get the pruner. All right, now we're gonna cut the cord with my nice rusty pruners. But at this point, it really doesn't matter. I'll cut this side first. So painful. All right, this pumpkin will not grow again. So, now we are ready to pick. All right, we just got done putting on the scale and what that number reads, I'll keep it a secret. But now we're gonna go and load it up on the truck and then we'll go over and do the barlow. All right, now we're on to the barlow. Gonna cut its, its stem off, or cut it from the vine. There goes the main vine, and there goes the other side of the main vine. All right, this pumpkin will cease to grow anymore. Better put the knife away before I stab it. That would not be cool. So I'll bring you back once we get the lift ring over here and then hopefully get a little more up and close and see what's going on. Alright, he is coming up. Hopefully 
to try not to get the sun in our view too much. Big old octopus. As long as it doesn't drop it. Now, we gotta see where we are. And... This is good. And... Whoa! Tripping over the plant. Alright. And we are good. So next... The mysterious voice person. Here in person, you can finally see him. Hi. <laughs> is gonna help me get, which when I say help, he might be doing most of it. You know, the harm, the things you have to do to film. You don't get your help. No, I'll help. See, so we're gonna first position these. He is lowering down the ratchet straps. And then when we get everything tied up, then we'll straighten these out so it's um, in good position to be the most stable. And then we'll take the ratchets and we'll just ratchet each one of these straps nice and tight. So I'll bring you back when we get to that step. All right. So, my wonderful helper, Christopher, got all these straps nice and tight, and we're in pretty good position all the way around. And I bumped my head, but anyways, yeah, so we're basically ready to lift. We're going to do a test lift, and then after that, we're going to look underneath the pumpkin make sure there's no soft spots. So I'm going to tell him to uh, start the engine and lift it up. Here goes the test lift. Alright. Alright, it passed the lift test. Now we're going to look at the pumpkin underneath. Okay, so far it looks pretty gosh darn good. And this pumpkin is not dished as much as the mason was, so that's good. So now I'm going to pause for a moment so I can get in there and really inspect it good. And then we'll bring you right back on the next step. All right, off camera I did a very thorough check of underneath the barlow. Got all full sand, but happy to report once again that we are looking good. So now we're ready to load it up. I mean, back it up and get the scale and see how good my measurements were. So, Chris is gonna start it up and uh, back her up. the pumpkin so it doesn't swing so much. Now 
now he's going to lower it. Make sure all the ropes are out of the way. All right. Now, let's see how this will work. Whoops. Bear with me here. I'll eventually get you in the right position. Maybe. You know, sometimes cameras, okay, stay camera. Now, we just have to undo this box nut, or square nut, whatever it's called. Super simple. the scale that I use upside down <laughs> so I'll be right back just gotta set this up be easier for two people so I'll be right back all right so we just got it we just put it on the scale and obviously we're done and the only spoilers I'm gonna give you is the Barlow did better than the Mason Pumpkin. And we'll just leave it at that. And we'll see how the scales look. So next, we're going to get that the ring back on here, lift the pumpkin up, and put it on there, and hopefully they both fit nicely. So. All right. Now he's going to tie a square knot because as you put tension on it, the knot gets tighter, but as soon as you loosen the slack, the knot falls apart, so it's real easy to undo it. So easy, he's already done. There we go. So, all right, now we're going to tuck the rope back up just to make sure that doesn't go nowhere. So, it's gonna hop back into the back hole and, uh, well, well, I jumped ahead a little bit. Oh, okay. Assistance is here. Mysterious voice will get the straps. Oh, this one, yeah. do a test lift and then we'll load it on the truck and try to get it pretty square on give it a good shake all right it's on there pretty good so now I'm going to hold on to it so it doesn't rock back so too much. 
and that's its destination. All right, now we gotta see how we look. That's gonna have to be as good as we can get because we're gonna have to put a piece of styrofoam right there. Pretty much all of the pumpkin is on. Now I'm gonna attempt to take this now, set this thing up again. Oh, got you guys a little crooked. I'll fix that. There we go. All right. Angle down a little bit further. There we go. I know that's good video right there. Now all we do is just. Pull it like that. And try not to hit the camera while I do this. Alright. Just like that, it's off. Lift it up a little bit. All right, back up. Well, if you go by size alone, I think you get a pretty good idea of what the scale read. But, yeah, not too bad. Now we just have to, uh, what do we have to do? Secure it, yeah. Um, I won't bore you with that, but I'll bring you back when we have both both the pumpkins secured and ready to roll. All right. Finally, uh, finally got the pumpkins all secure. Here, I need my uh, assistant to be my light. So, we had to run to Menards to get some more foam. And very snug in here. We wedged it as much as we could. So, both sides are nice and secure. And got a piece of foam in the center so they don't touch each other. Basically, same thing all around. And obviously in the front so they shouldn't go anywhere if they're a 20 minute drive and put this noodle through the ratchet strap and it was like this pump it was meant for this pumpkin because can't go up because this big groove here and same thing in the bottom so I think we are golden this pumpkin these pumpkins go anywhere something much worse happened to us <laughs> so yeah until tomorrow our big day hopefully the weather cooperates they keep threatening uh, rain on me on us but you know just makes things more interesting right 
So, anyways, it's time for bed because tomorrow is going to be a long day. It should be a good day, despite the rain. So, see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Bye-bye. All right, guys, here we are. We made it to the way off. All the pumpkins are all loaded. Here's the mason. Quite a bit of pumpkins. And over here is my other one. Right there. So, we'll see how they do. Good. Good. Okay, Danny Mason. Where are you from, Danny? What town? West Bend. Not very far away. West Bend, Danny. I think they said the estimated weight on this one is 970. 970. 978. Okay. How many years have you been growing, Danny? Fifth year. You think so? Could be the first one over a thousand pounds. So what we're going to do here is once we do one at a thousand pounds, we're going to weigh all this little stuff right here, and then we're going to come back and weigh the rest of the pumpkins, okay? So, let's see. Yeah. Well, no, we got to inspect. Got to have inspectors. What's that big mouse hole in the bottom? Don't drop it. Okay, the scale is zeroed out. The scale is professionally uh, certified by A1 scale right here in the region. He's hoping to get a thousand pounds. Okay, once in a while you see I have a problem lifting these here things. They put them in on a pallet, okay? And we've got this uh, little device, okay, that's called a lifting ring that's on top. And then we go with straps down the bottom. And then we go with a rope around the bottom. We call that cinching the pumpkin, okay? And so sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You might have to just pull it out from underneath it the other way here. Go right over the top down. What do you guys say? Well, you, however you want to do it. Can I lift it out? Yeah, we'll try to lift it out. Yeah. You keep wiggling it, Dan, and it goes right around that thousand pound mark. Okay, we got it out now. Difficult pumpkin. There they sliding it. They're doing okay. It's out. And Derek almost falls on his butt. Okay. Oh my God. Is this going to be? This is going to be interesting, Danny. One thousand and one pounds, Danny. Ready to go, Danny? Took a lot of damn work to get that thing on the scale. Actually, get the thing. So one thousand one pounds, Danny. Danny Mason. So that's what a thousand pound pumpkin looks like, ladies and gentlemen, right there, Danny Mason, one thousand pounds. One thousand one pound. <laughs> All right, they gotta get another picture. Uncle Danny, turn around. Yeah, they got it. Okay, and now uh, let me see. In two thousand and two was the year that uh, they, they went to first thousand pounds. So two thousand two, so that was Let's go. 
Then he's got another one. We're gonna do. We're gonna do it down to some more here. So, Joe Lear, you got dumped out there. You are no longer in first place. Danny Mason is in first place with 1,001 pounds. And he's bringing another one. And that one he wants to be bigger. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. That's, next one's estimated at 1,060, okay? Do you remember what seat you grew this off of, Danny? That's his own seat. And what was the other one behind you? That's a Barlow seed. The 2283 Barlow coming up next. Okay, that was the state record from last year. Danny Mason from West Bend. Get to stay standing up here and hopefully we do well again. Yeah, as well. So you've been weighing them all here in, in, in Cedarburg? Where, how many years have we been weighing here in Cedarburg? Five or six years now? Um, all five years, I've been growing. All five years, okay. Yep. So I think it's, this is our sixth year here, fifth year in Cedarburg? So I think tomorrow they have um, a little pumpkin regatta out in the river where they and they see who, uh, who can get to, get to the destination first. They have a little race. Hung up on something here, yeah. There we go. Again, they have a uh, wine tasting out there. They want to try wine. They have food up and down the way area here. We also have a kind of a flea market atmosphere. They have all kinds of things going on. So this, this festival goes a long ways up and down the Main Street here. We're going to keep going until we've got the last two estimated to be, okay? That's what the coordinator wants us to do. We're going to keep going until the last two. So bring the next biggest one up, ladies and gentlemen. Next in order after this one. Which pumpkin's next? Pete Vanderweel and your one is next. Pete. Show them which one it is. We're going to do them all except for the very end, too. So Danny hopes to be 1,001 pounds. 1,001 pounds. Danny does. How about if it says 1,001? <laughs> what if it says 1,000? <laughs> okay, we're checking it, inspecting it underneath. Wow, that's really clean. Did you wash it, Danny, on the way over here? Yeah. Okay, it's supposed to have any foreign material on it. So here we go, Danny's. I'm gonna see if this one is bigger than the last one. Danny, you want that turn? Does he want to turn? Do you want that picture? There we go. Hey, we put them on the we we'll put them on the scale how you want them to be there because you got to have your photograph taken with them. Good pictures. We put it on their Facebook page on our website. And so this one, well, you you surpassed it quite a bit here, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> 1141, 1141, Danny Mason. Right here from West Bend. You're in first place now, Danny. You passed yourself. 1141. Danny, look at me. No. There you go, Uncle Danny. Yeah. Danny, one more. <laughs> Another Uncle Danny. 
How many relatives you got here, Danny? A lot. <laughs> Danny, what, what was your biggest one the first year you brought here? What was your? He was at, he was under a thousand pounds. Great. He's sad because he only nine hundred pounds the first year out. Next year he says he's going to double this. Twenty-two eighty-two. Okay. Who's next on the list? We got a bigger one. Who's coming next? Which one's next? Pete? Good help out there with the low pallet jacks, lifting crew, forklift operators, everybody doing this. And scared. The beer guy, inspections. So everything is flowing smoothly here. And I'm your announcer, Glenn Martin here. I was not here last year for this event because my daughter got married, okay? And I says, why did you pick that date? She says, well, it's the only day the hall was open, Dad. You're going to have to skip out the girl for a little bit. All right, just in case you missed it, this is the Mason Pumpkin. And it got you 1,001. And here's my second one. Here, 1141. Go up close and personal there. All right, so where we last left off, my pumpkins were getting measured on the scale, and then we had a, I think it was like a two-hour delay, not delay, but a time for people at the festival could come on, look at the pumpkins and ooh and ah and do all that wonderful stuff. Meanwhile, we're all just twiddling on our thumbs waiting because they did the awards afterwards. And I didn't record that because it wasn't very exciting. Um, it was just basically showing the results of what we already knew and giving us our ribbons. So, basically, not sure if it was, I don't think it was said, but I did get 6th place. See here, proof. So, that was cool, because my 2nd year, 10th place. Then, the 3rd and 4th year, got ninth place. So, quite a bit of jump to get your 6th place, but... I think in this way Mother Nature did help me out there because the pumpkins did all end up much smaller. But we did manage to get one over 1,800 pounds, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but I guess also what I like to say is we were worried about the rain and it did hold off luckily basically right to the point where we were re-putting the styrofoam pieces in between the pumpkins and it started to drizzle a little bit so quite happy about that and it was cloudy and a nice cool breeze so it wasn't hot usually the last four years they were just roasting on the concrete so in that sense it was pretty nice um Let's see what else is there. Oh yeah, we didn't unload the pumpkins yet because, well, it was raining. And so I'll end up probably doing that on Monday. So that's also why I didn't get footage of that either. So I guess that's about it. Um, that's how, that's the typical 
way off Eve into way off the actual way off day. And it was all successful. No mishaps like we had last year. Last year we decided we didn't need brakes on our transporting vehicle, so that was exciting. But hey, you have wanted thrill. If we did it a second year, it'll just get boring. So we skipped this year and it was pretty uneventful. So all in all, a long day, but a good day. So now the cleanup starts and then hibernate for a couple of weeks and then get planning and gathering material uh, supplies for next year. So yeah, that's about it. That's going to wrap it up guys. Until next, until next season, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.